What's going on guys? Big Time 110 here. And today we're going to be installing a ROM called the eROM, which is based on 100% privacy. For those of you guys that don't like Google, Facebook, Instagram, every other company snooping on you, this ROM's for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I would recommend you have a USB drive handy so you can put your files there. If not, have a cable nearby your computer so that you could transfer them. But at the beginning, the well, first thing we're going to do is format our data. So to get and do that, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to press yes. Then we're going to go back and we're going to go advance and we're going to go and check only system and Dalvik and our cache. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Then swipe. Now, once that's finished, we're going to go and we're going to transfer those files. I have them on my USB drive. So all I got to do is look for the lineage 16, which is the Pi version. We need that as a base for the ROM. Otherwise it would not boot. So select your lineage 16 and TWRP and go ahead and flash. I'm going to speed up some of this so that you don't have to sit back and watch all that. So it'll be quicker. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once CWRP finishes installing, we're gonna go and reboot the recovery. See how your current slot A, we're supposed to be on B. Now that we are back into TWRP, we're gonna go ahead and slide that to allow modifications. If we go to reboot, you'll see we know that we're now on slot B. That's what we want. So now we're gonna go back, format data, we're gonna type yes. We're going to let it do its thing. And now we're going to press back and we're just going to go into install. I'm going to go my USB or wherever you have your files. And we're again going to do the same thing. Look for that lineage 16 file and the latest TWRP swipe to flash. Wait for that to finish and give it a little bit of time. And by now we should have Linux 16 as a base on slot A and we're going to finish installing it on slot B. That's what we want. So now we're just going to go reboot and we're going to re recovery again. Wait for it to reboot. Now here, what we want to do is we're going to format type. Yes. Once that finished. We're going to go ahead and go back at advance, advanced options. We're going to select Dalvik and system again, go ahead and swipe that, let that finish. Once that's done, we're just going to go. And now we're going to go ahead and install the EROM. Now that we have our base, we're going to search for our EROM, which we have here, which is the latest EROM 10. And we're going to also select the latest TWRP. And the reason we always select TWRP is because before we install the lineage base, if you don't do that, it'll replace it with the lineage recovery. So you always want to maintain your TWRP recovery just in case you need to go back. So now here, don't worry about this. It says no OS install. Are you sure? Go ahead and say yes. Now you'll notice that after like maybe five minutes, I kind of shortened the time here, edited it. But it'll take about five, maybe eight minutes. It'll reboot and it'll boot into the ROM. So don't worry about it. If you think it's taking too long, don't worry about it. it it's going to boot. So at this point, guys, there it is, eROM. I'll have a video soon uh, showing you everything, all the features and everything that the ROM comes with, uh, a more detailed video. So. Stay tuned for that and uh, hopefully you guys get to try it, get to uh, install it yourselves and let me know what you think. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for everything. I appreciate all the support. If you like the video, 
go ahead and like the video if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe uh, that's more that's motivation for me to keep doing this and uh guys i'll see you guys on the next video bye